what's coming in from the national capital just ahead of the Delhi Assembly elections. In fact, we are learning that a person has been held for trying to throw suspicious liquid at former Delhi Chief Minister and Aam Aadmi Party National Convener Arvind Kejriwal during his Padyatra in Delhi's Greater Kailash area. Those are, in fact, the latest visuals we are bringing to you from uh, the, the time that entire incident happened. You can see that Arvind Kejriwal was being taken away by the security personnel as uh, that entire commotion broke out. You can see that very visual. In fact, that's the suspect, the accused, who was trying to, in fact, throw some suspicious liquid. And as you can see, the supporters of Arvind Kejriwal and the Ahmadi Party immediately took uh, action. They started beating him up as a security personnel, in fact, uh, also took him in their custody. The Ahmadi Party has called it a BJP conspiracy, surprisingly. And those are the very disturbing visuals. In fact, it's not the first time that Arvind Kejriwal, uh, Arvind Kejriwal has been attacked like this. And uh, earlier also, ink was thrown at the former Delhi Chief Minister. That is the man who was, in fact, throwing that suspicious liquid. Let's quickly also listen in to what Amadi Party's Saurabh Bharadwaj has to say. Look, the leader of the Bharatiya Party is doing a lot of rallies in every country. They do a lot of rallies. They don't 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 do a lot of rallies. जिससे फिरौती मांगी गई उनके पास गए तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने हमला किया उससे कुछ दिनों पहले छतरपुर में उनके ऊपर हमला करने की कोशिश हुई लगातार हमले अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के ऊपर किए जा रहे हैं दिल्ली के अंदर फिरौतियों की कॉल्स आ रही हैं व्यापारियों के ऊपर दुकानों के ऊपर गोदामों के ऊपर शोरूम्स के अंदर गोलियाँ चल रही हैं ग्रेटर कैलाश के अंदर मर्डर हो रहे हैं पंचील पार्क के अंदर मर्डर हो रहे हैं पूरी तरीके से कानून व्यवस्था दिल्ली की चौपट हो गई है और केंद्र सरकार और केंद्रीय गृह मंत्री किसी काम के नहीं है so Saurabh Bharadwaj, the Delhi minister, in fact, using that entire incident to also uh, launch a scathing attack on the Bharatiya Janata Party. For more inputs, let's quickly go across to Akash, who's uh, going to shed more light on this news story. Akash, on what basis A is Saurabh Bharadwaj making that claim? Secondly, what are you learning in terms of this accused and his identity? Who is this person? Right. So, identity is, has not been ascertained yet. In fact, uh, Delhi police will investigate the matter. But Akanksha, you see, uh, you know, Saurabh Bhadwaj is making all these uh, allegations because of the fact that it is the second incident in just few days. Mm -hmm. We have seen how in Nanglui, in fact, you know, uh, some sort of uh, act was tried. And Aam Aadmi Party at that time also blamed Bharatiya Janata Party, given the fact that some BJP, uh, you know, Karikatas were also protesting at that point in time. So that is the reason why they are, uh, you know, uh, alleging that BJP uh, goons are behind uh, the particular act. Also, it is a matter of fact that, uh, you know, Aam Aadmi Party uh, is, uh, you know, very much involved in the sort of campaign ahead of assembly elections here in the national capital. And we know that how they are ruling, uh, you know, the uh, uh, city uh, for last so many years. This time around, of course, it is a it is going to be a tough fight between Aam Aadmi Party, BJP, and Congress. But before that, this is something uh, you know that should be condemned because uh, you know uh, politics in politics you can have uh, you know different sort of opinion differences. But that violence is uh, you know not the way. And uh, you know this uh, particular incident, of course, it will be investigated. We'll get to know as to who is this right. person, right. what is his identity. But uh, yes, it is an unfortunate incident that has happened in the Greater Kailash of Delhi. And absolutely, it is deeply unfortunate, but also important to highlight how such incidents are also now being used to sort of bolster the attack that we've seen consistently come, uh, you know, out by the Ahmadi Party earlier. Some days ago, we had also seen Arvind Kejriwal, in fact, talk about uh, the law and order situation in Delhi Assembly itself. We heard what sort of Dwaj was saying that, you know, these extortion calls, the crime rate is going up in the national capital and the union home minister is doing nothing about it. So, do you think that this will now become uh, the meat of their entire campaign or so the crux of their campaign when it comes to the Delhi Assembly elections? Politically speaking, Akanksha, of course, they are going to utilize the particular incident for their uh, allegations because they have been alleging that how law and order situation, uh, you know, uh, is not so good. In fact, uh, is uh, 
uh, very bad in the national capital they are talking about the kind of uh, uh, you know calls that uh, the businessmen are receiving and also the kind of incidents that have happened in the national capital of course they are using they are going to use uh, the particular incident uh, but then uh, you know uh, we will get to know the truth of the story the whole story only after investigation i'm sure delhi police will investigate the matter and the identity of the particular man will be revealed as to what was his motive what was his mm. intention mm. you know if he is a, a, a you know karyakarta right. of aam aadmi party or bjp or is a normal citizen Many thanks to you, Akash, for bringing us all those latest inputs. Deeply disturbing incident, and as Akash was highlighting, it's not a first. In fact, uh, those incidents have only been on the rise as far as the former Delhi Chief Minister is concerned. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV18 on all of our digital platforms.